New Year's resolutions, we all understand, acknowledge, and even laugh at the fact that they just don't work. The vast, vast majority of us stick to it for a week or two and end up falling back on our old habits, building ourselves up with guilt, and doing the same thing again year after year. So why is it that they don't work? It's Ryan from the Center for Healing here. Let me try and break it down as simply as possible. A New Year's resolution is made with the conscious mind. The behavior that we are trying to change, trying to alter, comes from our subconscious programming. Whenever our conscious mind and subconscious mind are at odds with each other, the subconscious mind will win, if not straight away, eventually. Let me give you an example. Say that this year, I want to lose some weight, but I keep bloody eating chocolate cake and pizza every night. December 31st comes around and I break down crying. I look at myself in the mirror, I throw my chocolate cake on the ground, tears streaming down my face, I look at myself in the eyes and say, no more bloody chocolate cake. I can be so serious about that, that is a conscious decision. If I have a subconscious belief though, that that chocolate cake gives me comfort, it makes me happy, it distracts me from my emotional pain, or when I start to get emotional, I turn to food, if that's the case, then I might last a day, I might last a week, I'm going to eat chocolate cake and I'm probably gonna gorge more than ever when I do. And the unfortunate thing then is, then we guilt ourselves and beat ourselves up for going against our resolution and going back to our old behaviors. But we shouldn't beat ourselves up because we're simply fighting a battle that we generally can not win. So, how do we greatly increase our chances of making change in our life, keeping that resolution for a change and building up some confidence, some self-esteem, some certainty and some self-worth as opposed to adding to our guilt reservoir for 2019? So, once we decide that we want to make this change in behavior, and I'll keep using the example of eating the chocolate cake and pizza every night, that's my resolution, okay? That's where we normally stop by just making that decision. We need to go a lot further now. We need to then book in with someone who is going to work with our subconscious mind, our subconscious programming, so we can greatly increase our chances of changing that behavior. So I would book that a week or two in advance, okay? Not too soon, maybe two weeks away. That can be someone who's really good at hypnotherapy, that can be uh, someone who does NLP, that can be someone who does regression therapy, someone who works with that subconscious mind. And do your research or ask your friends. A lot of friends have you know, worked with people and you can get a good referral and find out who is good at that. Now, once that is booked in, this little one or two week period leading up to then, this is when you need to start digging at the surface of where this stuff comes from, okay? So you need to ask yourself, or I need to ask myself, the behavior of not eating chocolate cake and pizza every night, why am I not performing that? And I might be able to get very curious about myself over this little period and I'll understand that, hey, when I get home or it's late at night, as soon as I start to feel emotional or as soon as I start to feel anxious or as soon as I start to think about X, I find myself at the fridge, okay? These are the first steps of uncovering where this stuff really comes from. Then you can go to that appointment in a week or two, sit down with that person and say, hey, this is the behavior that I want to change for 2019. So far, these are a couple of the reasons I've uncovered why I'm not doing it. Let's go deeper and find out where this stuff really comes from. Okay, you might find it in session one, it might take a few sessions, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't, but you're gonna greatly increase your chances because a lot of this stuff comes from these single events in your past where maybe you saw one of your parents, whenever they got stressed, they turned to food and that just become part of your subconscious programming. It can be any number of things like that. But then once you do the work and go back and understand and acknowledge that, you can start to shift your programming and realize that, hey, I don't need to live this way anymore. Once we make the conscious decision, but then change the subconscious programming, not eating chocolate cake or pizza or whatever your resolution is, it doesn't become an effort anymore. There's no willpower required. There's no conscious effort required. We simply stop doing it because we love ourselves and we don't need to live that way anymore. Guys, that is all from me today. Uh, have a beautiful uh, week. Have a beautiful 2019. If you have any questions for me about resolutions, just you can message us, hit us up. Uh, I would love to hear what your resolutions are. Uh, I hope this sheds some light on the fact that if you want to make a change, subconscious programming is what needs to be altered. Conscious mind leads to subconscious sabotage, which leads to more guilt, which leads to a 2019, it looks like previous years. Let's make 2019 our best ever. I love you all, peace out.